Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Texas Brew and Barbecue. My name is Ty Sherrill and I'm your official backyard ambassador for RecTech. So today we are doing Mexican pulled pork, or I'm gonna call it Loco Gringo pulled pork because we are using the Loco Gringo rub on this. Little backstory on this pulled pork. I came across this recipe video on YouTube and I knew that I had to make a video for you guys. After making this, it was like mind blowing because usually pulled pork is a, it's a go-to, especially in the South. And it's usually barbecue sauce or some kind of vinegar based barbecue sauce. And it's usually the same sweet flavor that you're used to. This is gonna be a more savory flavor. It's gonna have a little more of a kick to it because we are gonna be doing some different things to this. So you may have already seen this recipe done before. I'm following it pretty spot on to the one that I watched, but I wanted to make sure that you guys see this because it is really, really good. Now, we are gonna be using Cholula hot sauce and we're gonna be using this as a binder. And we're gonna be putting on there quite a bit, but it's not gonna be hot, so don't worry about that. It's gonna, it's going to put so, a lot of flavor into this meat, but it's not gonna be hot like you think it's gonna be. Then we are gonna go over it with the uh, Chef Greg's four letter rub. We're gonna have that as our base layer. And then we are gonna go liberal with the Rectech Loco Gringo rub. This is, it's, both of these rubs are excellent. Rectech.com, get the rub bundle. We're gonna be doing this on the RT1250. I have it set at 250 degrees. So this is a three step process. So process one, let's get our rub on there, get it on the grill, get our bark forming. Once we hit that 165, 170 mark, we're gonna put it in a half pan with a little bit of chicken stock, cover it in foil, and we're gonna put it back on for another couple hours until it is probe tender. Uh, until it is probe tender. Let me get that out. All right, so we have our uh, pork shoulder here. This is a bone in. It's gonna be pulled pork, so I'm not going to, uh, I put this on the wrong hand. It's gonna be pulled pork. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of trimming to it. One thing about pork, especially pork shoulders, is you want as much surface area as you can. Like some of this stuff I'm gonna take off just because it's there. But I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna do a whole lot to it. Pulled pork doesn't need a whole lot of love. This fat, you got this hard edge here, I'll probably take that off. One rule of thumb that you wanna make sure that you, you keep in mind is the more surface area you have, the more that the, uh, the rub and the other ingredients you put directly on the meat are gonna get soaked in. So they did a good job cleaning this already, so there's a lot of surface area right here. Like I said, that's really it. All right, next step is we are gonna take our hot sauce and we're gonna put it on there. We're gonna cover it. Using this as a binder, normally, a lot of people use mustard or olive oil as a binder, but we are gonna use this hot sauce. When I first saw this video before I made it, I was like, there is no way I'm doing that. And then I did it. And then my mind and life was changed. All right, now we're gonna take the four letter rub. Great all purpose. I love to use this as a base layer. It just puts a different flavor in there. So we're gonna go over. And don't worry about over seasoning. This is a big piece of meat. Like we're gonna season more. Cause when we go in the, the pan, we're gonna season it again with the local gringo. And then when we go to pull it, we're gonna season it again. Whole point is having, of seasoning is so you can taste it. All right. Loco Gringo. This is a thicker rub. So it's got thicker flakes, but go liberal. Get it on there. Man, I can already smell this rub and with that hot sauce. This is a pretty long cook too. So we're gonna look at about seven, eight hours, six, seven, eight hours for this cook. 
So we are gonna let this thing sit for like 10 minutes and let this rub and all the seasoning adhere. It'll start sweating out and then we're gonna go directly on the grate and we're gonna let it go until it's time to wrap. All right, guys, we are at the point where we need to wrap that pork butt. So I'm just going to take it off here. Put it right there. All right, now that we have it in our pan, we're gonna do two different things. We are gonna go back over it with some more hot sauce. And I forgot something, I'll be right back. Don't move. Stay right there. All right, now that we got more hot sauce on it, we're gonna take about a half a cup of chicken stock and we're just gonna pour it in the pan. Not a whole lot, just enough to uh, put some down in the pan there. Now that we got our chicken stock on there, we're gonna go back with some more butter. You can use, uh, Pats of butter if you want. I'm using the squeeze butter. And then. We're gonna learn how to rip foil. We're gonna cover it back in foil. We're gonna put it back on the smoker for about another two hours until it's probe tender. And then we're gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna start pulling it. See you in a couple hours. So what I like to do is I like to either, whenever I'm doing Mexican pulled pork or any other kind of pulled pork, I always pull it inside its own juices. That way you can kind of redistribute the juices back into the meat. All right, let's build a taco real fast. Just pulled pork. I'll throw some onions in there. Some cilantro. Some cheese. There we go. All right. Mexican pulled pork taco. That's good. All right, guys. Until the next episode, cheers.